Hello everyone. Today I'm recording a video on what are the 10 mistakes people make when preparing for the PMP examination and then give up on the preparation. Watch this video till the end till I share you all the 10 tips that you should not be doing. Yes, this is a not doing video. So don't do these mistakes because I have done these mistakes. Many people have done these mistakes. I have been training people on PMP exam for the last four years. I'll show you what all I have learned and what pitfalls you need to avoid. Let's get started. I gave my PMP exam in the month of January in 2016, but I started off my preparation in 2015 in the month of August. August, September, two months after my PDU training, I read a book which had a lot of details, what was there in Bimba and nothing was moving, nothing was going into my head. So I was like worried, oh my God, now what do I do? I'm not able to get this. Then I decided I'm doing something wrong. Most of us start up preparation and then try to get stuck in this problem. Then what do we do for that? How do we avoid these mistakes? Right? So the mistake I was read, doing was, I was reading from a book that was very dry. The first mistakes, most of the time people try to read from a very, very dry book. Don't do that. Okay. Pimpa is an exam reference guide. People try to prepare just from Pimba and then try to give the PMP examination. So after two, three months they give up. They say, no, this book is very, very dry. If you're having like 10 years of experience and trying to do Pimbok, you might be able to get something out of it. But if you're having just like four or five years of experience, I to give, learn Pimbok and give something, it is very, very hard for you to get it. It is written by subject matter experts. Okay. So find out which book is interesting. There are a lot of books in the market that will help PMBA, pass PMBA examination. Read from those books. I read from Rita Mulkai, it helped me. I read just one, that one book. I didn't even kind of read Pimbok from cover to cover. I just read Rita Mulkai cover to cover three times. That was helpful for me. So first thing is don't go and read a dry book for PMP examination. Read something that is relatable to a day to day project management. It will also help you answer many questions on PMP examination. First one. Next thing. Get inspired. In our batch, there was a lady who gave the PMP examination after two months. And when I got to know about that, I got inspired. Most of the times, we people try to underestimate ourselves. They're like, oh, we've been on this for the last 45 days, last five weeks, 10 weeks, it's not moving. It's been just pushing and we're like underestimating ourselves. Don't underestimate yourself. Trust yourself. The second mistake you're doing is you underestimate yourself and you're not trusting yourself. Right? Don't do that mistake. Trust yourself and then you'll be able to do great on a PMP examination. So get inspired. So I got inspired when I got on one of my classmates who passed the PMP exam, I was just preparing for two months and doing so and so. I was like so inspired. Take inspiration from others. Like almost like more than nine lakh people have passed PMP examination till now. Well, why can't you pass? Right? So get inspired. We don't try to take inspiration. We kind of underestimate ourselves. Don't do those mistakes. Get inspired. Don't underestimate yourself and start preparing. So I was like fully charged up. I have this only one single focus. I have to pass my PMP examination. The next mistake is people are not prioritizing the PMP exam preparation. Prioritize the preparation. Everything comes second, right? Make time and then prioritize. So if you prioritize, you'll make a preparation plan. The next mistake is people don't make a preparation plan, right? If you prioritize it, prioritize it, then make a preparation plan. How are you going to prepare? Is it like, half an hour every day, is it like four hours a week, is it like six hours a week, is it like two hours a week and I know what works for you. Most of us are working, right? It's not easy for us to kind of dedicate two hours every day with all this uh, work around with a lot of pressure. Pri uh, prioritize this. It should be your number one priority. Then you'll be able to focus it. After that, most of us, what we do is we try to read from too many books, right? Again, becomes paralysis with analysis. We read from Rita Bulk, we read from Head First, we read from Kim and Ryan, we read from uh, Andy Crow. There are like so many books. No, you don't have to read all these books. Take any one book and read it. If you read from five books, you're losing a lot of time. All these books are very good books. Take any one book, read it cover to cover three times. That is the next mistake people make. They try to read everything that's in the market, every blog that's there in the market, every YouTube video that's on PM examination. No, don't do that. Right? 
just follow one one mentor one book that should be more than sufficient okay then after that people don't try to solve at least 1500 questions even if you are an experienced person you should solve at least 1500 questions even if you are a newbie like 5 years of experience you should solve 1500 questions 1500 questions is what you have to solve that gives you an idea what kind of questions come in pmp examination that will go and wire your brain saying okay this is how this has to be done right next mistake is people don't solve so many questions at least solve 1500 questions okay then after that people don't give mock examinations start giving pmp mock it's not easy to sit for 4 hours and write the pmp examination it's like a lot of stress comes get the feel of it why are your brain for this how are you going to handle the stress right give at least four or five mock examinations and the next mistake people make is they don't analyze after this so what all mistakes you make you have to analyze and make notes of that give the pmp mock examinations see your mistakes analyze get the right answer make notes and then then there's going to be improvement in the next exam and give a gap of at least like 7 days to 10 days between each mock exam you can see the preparation time and then the slowly gradual increase right next thing then after that what we have to do is we have to kind of repeat what you're doing so start reading that one book at least three times people going kind to of just read the book once and okay fine i've read this i'm not getting my answers right okay first time you were just able to get it you got to know the terminologies now you should remember the terminologies so at least you visit like two three times you'll get to know what are the terminologies and what are, do they stand for you need to read at least three times any one of the books you're going to prepare for pmp examination okay lastly people try to memorize the ittos please don't do that don't try to memorize the ittos there are more than 1000 inputs and outputs no don't do that for those fort 9 processes you need to know what are these ittos what are the inputs what are the outputs you don't you don't have to memorize even if you get like three to four questions you put almost like 40 to 50% of your effort memorizing that it's a waste of time it's okay for you to let go of those two to three marks or maybe like five marks prepare for 195 marks and give the pmp examination it saves a lot of time i i, I never try to memorize ittos but i knew what these ittos stands for what does particular tool does what does input does so you should know what do these tools and technique means right so start doing this it will be easier for you to prepare a pmp examination above all people don't try to gain confidence they lose confidence you can only gain confidence once you start solving some problems reading some book right let's see you finish one knowledge in integration management that will give you 10% confidence scope management 20% confidence time schedule management 30% like that if you go to stakeholder management you get the 100% confidence read from the book solve at least 100 questions right another way is to build confidence at least try to solve 25 questions every day step by step you will get to build confidence after 10 you'll solve like 250 questions after 40 it will be like 1000 questions so you'll build confidence so these are the mistakes that people tend to do i would request you to watch this video a couple of times start implementing what i have been telling you if you need one on one coaching you can mail me i'll give my email id below i can guide you on how to prepare for pmp examination i have had many people who have passed exam in the last 4 years i've got many recommendations in linkedin many people have given their comments after how they passed the pmp examination my first video on how to pass pmp examination had like 80000 views the second one after the change of pmp box examination have got like 50000 views and at least more than 35 40 people have passed pmp examination i wish you all the best please don't make this mistakes what i have told you over here i wish you all the best for your pmp examination thank you very much this is aram paras bye bye have a nice day